I'd say that we're really interested in the human behavior um, and the interaction with, with transport um, overall. <clears throat> uh, maybe it's important uh, to start off sort of to look at what we mean by flexibility, and I think uh, there's a lot of um, preconceived notions about what flexibility is. And in Australia, the conversation has really been a lot of the time about uh, diversity and getting sort of um, uh, women engaged in workforce on a longer basis. But um, flexibility is just a much, much broader issue. And specifically here, we can look at um, in Macquarie Park how it's actually one of really the biggest tools. And after having worked with actually, it's been now eight organizations um, as part of the membership. Um, it is one of the biggest tools in terms of what we do uh, when it comes to transport. When we interview people and when we survey people and work with a large number of organizations uh, across Australia, um, commute is the number two reason that anybody's looking for flexibility. Um, our cities are, are big and we, we travel far, but also looking at it from a point of view of an organization, um, if we offer flexible working and um, we can then open up the talent pool a lot wider. Um, geographically as much as also from a diversity perspective. So um, flexible working has really become a big part of that. Um, ultimately where we want to get to in terms of flexible working is not just looking at part-time. By the way, part-time is not very flexible at all. We're really, um, it's a big thing, sort of a number one thing that people think about in terms of flexible working. It's actually quite inflexible, and especially when we look at uh, transport side of things. Um, but we're more looking about getting to the point where organizations um, have the knowledge and the behavior change to have gotten to the point where we trust people um, to make the decisions about what's the best way that they can do the job that they need to get done today. Um, and that gives way to what we call dynamic flexibility. So when you look at the dynamic flexibility, the people make decisions and they are dynamic in terms of how they change and shift um, their time, that impacts on how they travel to work. Um, so we've been doing a lot of work with the organizations really to sort of get to the point where that relationship um, from a leadership perspective and then the people working as well um, gets to that mindset, mindset um, change where people can make some decisions and then we look at okay there's two impacts specifically here people can shift their times and that obviously would have a massive impact in transport and it is one of the biggest things we've been talking to people about and I know everybody here um, is planning on that getting people to come outside of the, the really busy time uh, but not necessarily just shifting their hours you know, starting later and then leaving later, but talking even of in terms of block working. So do I do a couple of hours in the morning, come into the office at about 11 o'clock? Is that FaceTime is still important? We are social uh, people and I think FaceTime inside organizations there. And then leaving before the, the traffic even comes in, um, because you know, I don't know, technology means that we can work anytime, anywhere. So getting people to distribute how they work really makes a massive impact uh, rather than putting even more roads and more transport solutions and all that sort of stuff, which are very, very important, how do we look at behavior and getting work done in the most productive way? Because that's the other thing. Um, I think we need to shift the way we're thinking about it. Um, flexible works come in to solve a problem of, of disruption, potentially. But actually, the reality and the data is completely the flip side of it. This is an incredible opportunity for organizations. Every single piece of evidence and data says that organizations get a higher level of productivity, get a higher level of engagement, which has a direct impact in terms of revenue. So, um, you know, I, 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 we've been saying to the organizations in, in the area, think about the shutdown as an absolutely wonderful burning platform to push this further and actually deliver, deliver incredible business outcomes. Uh, rather than just sort of saying this is just something nice that we're giving to our people as a tool to, to live through the shutdown, this is an incredible, incredible business outcome uh, that we can achieve. So um, I guess we, we're looking at this as a really, really positive time, and I, I can also definitely say that a lot of organizations are, are realizing that. It's just getting that shift and getting sort of to the point where we shift human behavior, which is hard, but we now have a really, um, I guess, a, a great opportunity and a nudge to kind of go down that way. I think the other part is that is really good to consider and make sure we keep in mind is this, we currently have a bit of a hub and sort of people, people are coming into it as sort of hub and spoke really, transport is coming into Macquarie Park. Uh, looking at distributing work to certain centers and sort of some of the, the co-working spaces, co-working is absolutely a fantastic one, all around the city is a really, really good option as well. So is there really a need that absolutely everybody needs to come into the office here when they come in? 
technology again says no. Um, they do need to come into the office. We're not saying 100% remote working or any of that kind of stuff, but really considering how can you have a hub in Parramatta, how can you have a hub down south, and then even further out there, how can we have hubs in regional communities because we can do some really wonderful stuff in terms of revitalizing regional communities, but also getting a wider pool of talent to come into um, Macquarie Park and have access to. So um, definitely, I think a great tool to consider on top of your transport strategy and within your transport strategy because there's a big circular loop as well. Wow. We're going to open it up to the floor.